Welcome to the Edge of NFT podcast with your hosts, Jeff Kelly, Ethan Janney, and Josh Krieger. We aim to bring you not only the top 1% of what's going on with NFTs today, but what will stand the test of time. We explore the nuts and bolts and the business side, but also the human element of how NFTs are changing the way we interact with the things that we love. This podcast is for the futurists and dreamers, the disruptors and creators, the fans and connectors, and the makers and doers that are pumped about this ecosystem and driving where it goes next. It's a privilege to have you here. Welcome to Edge of NFT. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, brother, we know you got a ton going on, so it's, it's amazing to have you here for this time that we do have you. And look, we want to reach back a little bit, start kind of from the beginning. You've been in the disruption game for a long time, and you were you were there at the early days at BitTorrent. Thanks so much for all those downloads, by the way. Um, and, you know, how did your experience there and, and sense relate to you finding crypto? That's a really good question. Um, well, look, if you want to go back to the beginning, um, I should probably go back to, it's probably when I'm like 10, 11 years old, growing up in London. Um, there's a really big community of pirate radio stations in London. Um, these are illegal radio stations, kids duct taping, scaffolding poles, construction poles to the sides of tower blocks and linking them up to turntables. And literally that's your radio station. If you're in a city as densely populated as London, you can you can get out to about 10 million people with about $600 worth of equipment. And it's really hard for the police to shut down pirate radio stations because you only need $600. And if you're putting on raves and you're doing advertising and people are paying your station to reach the 10 million kids that you can reach, you can get another $600. So there's this game of whack-a-mole. And if it sounds like a lot of things have happened on the internet, it's because it is. We always like to know, you know, what forthcoming NFT projects, platforms, and ideas you're most excited about. So I know this might be hard, but just give us like three quick sound bites of like things to watch out for. And then we'll head on over to our personal questions for you. Yeah. Um, things that I can talk about. That we, well, yeah. <laughs> um, well, DC obviously is, is top of mind. Um, I don't know if that counts. Um, and stuff outside have- of what you're working on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, one thing that we are working on just behind DC, just as game changing is a project coming, um, with a big, a big, uh, game in November. Um, I can't say much about anything about, I've already said too much, but that Beautiful. is going to be amazing. <laughs> um, stuff. What, what not- about outside of a palm? Like, what are you excited yeah, yeah. about? Um, I really liked what TikTok and Immutable did last week with Lil Nas X and everyone. I just thought it was super clean and it's nice to see. It was nice to see a social network doing something like the NFTs. We have similar plans with other social. And not, anyway, um, we, we've been thinking along similar lines with another company. Um, and it's just nice to see that connection being made. Um, I was really excited about the announcement of Dapper Labs acquiring Broad today. Um, Trevor McFedris is someone who I uh, know personally and just always looked up to as an amazing talent. And to see that company fold into Dapper, I'm just like, and the way they're thinking about DAOs, which is something else we've some we've been working on our own DAO internally at, at Palm. It's like we can't use the word DAO. It has to be a collect. It has to be a creative collective. Like stop using all this jargon if you're trying to reach artists because they're no, they're terrified of all this crypto. <laughs> but if you talk about collectivism, everyone's like, oh, okay, right on. Nice. You know, like George, George Orwell said, never, never use a ten dollar word when a two dollar word will do, or a two cent word. I can't remember. Either way, he was right. Um, so that was nice to see today, and I, I can't wait to see what that team does around DAOs. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's just so many. There's so many cool things. That's out great. Week. You hit it. You hit about three. The views and opinions expressed on the Edge of NFT podcast reflect solely those views and opinions of the show creators and its guests. We're learning as we go, just like you. Please make sure to do your own research. Our podcast is not financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit all people. You understand that you are using any and all information available on or through this podcast at your own risk. 